to Omega Life TV. And this is the moment of worship. Tonight, we have an amazing minister here. Last week was amazing. And um, um, I know tonight is just going to be something else. Because this man who is coming tonight, he is a well-renowned and um, 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 an international minister of God. He ministers all over the world. And I promise you, he's going to take you to the throne room, throne room of grace. I just want you to do me a favor. Just make sure you share the page. Share the link. Copy the link. Send it on your WhatsApp. Share it to as many people as you can. And I know tonight, your life is not going to be the same. Um, it's coming to the end of the year. And Satan is going to try everything that he can to make sure you don't finish. But I pray for you tonight. That you will finish or end this year well in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Wherever you are, you and your family, you are protected in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And I know that I will see you next year. But for now, I just want you to um, um, join me. And um, we're just going to speak to this amazing man. Um, but before, you, before we do that, have you shared a page yet? It's a good question. Have you shared it yet? Please, if you haven't, please make sure you share it. Like it. Like the video. Um, 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 comment. Share it to as many people as you can. Because tonight, there is fire here in Omega Live TV. Before we continue, I just want to um, talk about Omega House. The venue is, um, uh, all the, the address is 74 West Green Road. If you need flyers, leaflets, posters, brochures, booklets, banners, business cards, letterheads, receipts, tickets, funeral, birthday cards, invitation cards, photo printing as well, all sizes, passport photos. Um, we also print on mags, um, photo frames, bottle openers, key rings, everything that you need printed. Omega House is there for you. Um, you can find us um, here at West Green Road, 74 West Green Road, N15 5NS. The, the telephone number is 078026-27333. Call us and we will sort you out. Man of God, God bless you so much for joining me today tonight for joining all of us tonight Hallelujah. Bless you. thank you so much for coming um i've heard a lot about you i've seen you i know you for so many years and um uh, uh you're doing amazingly well in the body of christ all glory to god. Thank god. man of god i've heard of diabello 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 is that your actual full name or is that a stage name my name is gabriel Adi diabello Oh, wow. Wow. Gabriel, I never ever knew. I wouldn't have. So you are an angel. Yes. Man of God, I'm also an angel. We are both archangels, Michael that's, and Gabriel. That's, that's Gabriel and Man of God, I've, I've heard a lot about you, but um, have you been singing for long? Because the, the amazing things that, things that you're doing, um, uh, just, let, let me ask this. Have you been singing for long? Uh, well, yes. Um, I, don't know, I don't know what you regard as long. You know, I, I, There's some people that I met scene i i've been i've been in full-time ministry for 12 years now wow 12, 12, years. 12 years full-time ministry. Full ministry for 12 years yeah before then i used to just you know sing and everything but yes full-time ministry for 12 years wow yes. wow 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 that is <laughs> simply amazing full-time ministry for f for 12 years yes for 12 and years. and um you know, there is there is this thing, there is this stigma about musicians or singers, gospel singers per se, who enter into full time music. Um, they are classified or considered as um, um, uh, not serious in life. <laughs> how how have you survived? My, you know, my mentor said to me one day. He said, um, uh, my mentor um, said to me one day. He said, which is Nathaniel Bassi. <coughs> the day Nathaniel's wife took him to meet the the wife's husband, the wife's father, mm -hmm. the man said to him that um, is this the best you can do? Mm -hmm. um, people that say that, if you remember in the Bible, the Bible says that, um, and David employed the um, the worshippers. Uh, what, do you, what do you call them? The um, musicians. He, he, they were employed full time. Yes, 
and they were kept in the house of God. If God has given, if God has called you, He will make way for you. That's why I always tell people: if your gift is not making room for you, and room means paying rent, bills, mortgage, if your gift ain't doing that, then you're not doing something right. Because he has given everybody gift. He said, your gift to sit you among kings. He will make room for you. And that gift is something that it could be for smiling. It could be for singing. And God has given something to somebody to make room for you. There is nothing better than you doing something that you love, that God has ordained you to do. And when he now makes room for you, it makes all things perfect. Because some people go to work 9 to 5 and they're not happy. They're not happy. They're not fulfilled. They're, they, might, they might be even making money or they might not even make as much as you think. But you know, God has been making way. For the past 12 years, I mean, I used to be the account manager for Full Locker in Oxford Street wow. before I went into full time. But I can say what I've been able to achieve while I've been a full time minister is short of amazement. I mean, the things that we do in terms of concerts, the, th the lights that we church, and um, we just finished building a school in Nigeria now, oh, wow. uh, a free school. Wow. For the past one year, we've been feeding 95 children. Yeah, we're feeding 95 children with the support of so many I mean, people, but we've been feeding 95 children, we're paying for the two teachers and everything, and you know, God has been good. God has been good. So, if anybody says, well, uh, as a music minister, you're full-time, you're not serious, then that means they're challenging your God. It's either your gift is not working well at the time, because you have to understand, even, see, I always tell everybody, David, David was anointed, because I remember God told Samuel, he said, I have done, I'm done with Saul. Go to the house of Jason. There's a boy for me. Even after David was anointed, he still needed the gift to enter into the throne room. The gift of God made way for him. Yeah, he was anointed. But when they were looking for somebody to play for Saul, they said there is a boy in the house of Jason. He's highly skilled. After they, after they read the CV, they now said, and the Lord is with him. That was what marked him out, out of everybody. So he must have been a full-time musician. His gift wasn't the anointing. The gift brought him into the throne room for the, for the anointing to be fulfilled. People don't see that way. They say, well, you are so anointed. You can be so anointed, but if your gift is not making that room for you. Because, I mean, imagine, how come the Bible did not say your, your anointing will make room for you? No, it said the gift of a man will make room, not the anointing. You can be anointed and not be gifted. God bless you. God bless you so much. Um, this is this is a very serious point that he's making. And um, if God has actually called you to do something, I believe you should have enough confidence in the God who has called you that he will make room for everything that you need. Because, man of God, I used to teach um, um, some kids, a couple of kids, um, how to play piano and stuff like that. And... I made a statement to them that what what music and the work of God has done for me, no amount of education could have done that. Because, man of God, I've stood in front of great, great people. When I mean great people. Yes. Just, just today, I went somewhere with my dad and everyone who saw me was just coming to me and my dad was like, hey, you this man. It's not because of my education. You'd be surprised. <laughs> it's because of the work of God. Yeah. So I want to encourage you, wherever you are, um, if God is calling you to do something, if really and truly God is actually calling you the to do it, the harvest is plenty, mm. but the laborers are few. Mm. Mm. Please don't harden your heart. Believe in the God who has called you, and I know that He is going to see you through everything. Please share the page, share the page, share the page, like it, share the page if you are on. Make sure that you share it. Make sure that you share it. Make sure that you share it. Make sure that you share the page. Make sure that you share the page. If you're on, please share it. Share it. Copy the link. Send it to your WhatsApp. Send it to um, 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 anywhere that you can. On Instagram, anywhere. Please share the page before we continue. Share the page before we continue. Let's double the number right now. Let's double the number. Please share the page. We're not going to talk too much today. Man of God, what have you got? for us today what have you got for us today i just want to i don't have anything for anybody <laughs> it's god that's got something for somebody so I, I can't do anything um you know i love the song that says take the stage lord and have your way i 
just a vessel and nothing more when you're done please take the glory see and i'm satisfied just to see you glorified so i can't do anything for anybody it's god that will sanctify the airwaves and it will go and reach you to somebody's heart and things will begin to happen in the atmosphere there will be a shift in somebody's house that you know when the, when the, when the angel went to Mary he said to Mary you have a child and Mary said I have not known a man the, the, the angel now said but the glory of the Lord and I said the glory of the Lord will come to somebody's house right now whoever is watching so I can't do anything for you but the Holy Spirit can do something for you. You just have to open up your heart and God will glorify it. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much, man of God. We're not going to talk too much. We're going to zoom in straight, man of God. The microphone is yours. The stage is set. Can I have thank this you, one, Jesus. please? Tonight, I want you to do me a favor. Please share the page, share the page, share it, share it, share it. Man of God, the stage is yours. I want you to join me in worship. Just begin to bless the name of God. Just begin to bless Him. 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 Hallelujah. You have won a victory.
the Ghanaian will say, Only no ye, mami. Only no ye, mami.
Savior of my soul. Oh, my Oh, my Everybody's over your mind. wherever you are. Lift it up to him. You don't understand. When I, when I got that revelation, he created you so much. You're so powerful. You were not created by one. I am all shattered. He said to everything else, let there be and there was. But when it was your turn, I am all sikata. When it was your turn, so you know you carry the DNA of the threefold. The threefold. He said, let us the king of kings, the ancient of this. Some people say, what's the meaning of Oyama? When I wrote that song, the meaning of Oyama in Nigeria means the lion that guards the gates. You can see dogs guard the gates, you won't run. You can go like this. But when you see a lion, When a lion guards the gates, you dare not. You are here, change your destinies. We worship you. We worship you.
back to old school. Let's go back. Let's go back.
Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. He is the meaning of a dying love. He's the shepherd of Israel. The multi-breasted one. The lion that casts the gates. He is the bishop of my soul. The self-existed God. The lion of the tribe of Judah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. We give you glory. We give you honor. We thank you for this hour. We thank you for this moment, for the privilege to usher your people to your presence. If I were you, I start mentioning the things that I want. Remember, the Bible says, "Enter his gates with thanksgiving, come into his court with praise." Once you're in his presence, then you start making your supplications. Start writing it. Maybe you're watching. Just write the things that you're believing God for. Say, "Lord, do this for me. Do that for me. Come and type it. Type it. Type it. I want to join faith with you. I want to join faith with you." See, I tell people. You don't have to have a phone to make a phone call. Your faith might not be strong enough, but I can join my faith with you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Fire. Fire, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Everything that is not of God, 
We are praying. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, put your hands together for God. Put your hands together for Jesus. God bless you. 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 Tonight has been something else. We are still not done yet. Share the page. Share the page. Tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend. Comment, like on it. Share the page. Share the page. We are still not done yet. We are still not done yet. We are about to zoom into the word. Prophetic. Hallelujah. We are going to pray for people online right now. Please share the page. If you haven't shared yet, share it. 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 Share the page. Can I please borrow your microphone? Thank you. Share the page. 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 Share it. Share the page. Share the page. My apostles are ready. My bishops are ready. And tonight we're going to start with bishop. We have, we, this is the bishop of our end time. Listen. He has dived into the spiritual realm tonight. He is not coming in vain. He is coming with the power. Listen. When he speaks, when he speaks, something is going to happen in your life tonight. I want you to share the page. Share the page. Let's double the number right now. Share the page. I'm going to hand over to the one and only Bishop Joe. And listen. Tonight your life will not be the same. Because he is carrying a word for you. My brother, my sister watching. Bishop Joe, are you ready for the world? Thank you, Father. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. Wow. In the name of Jesus Christ. When worship goes up, his power come down. Yes. My God. As you join us tonight my faith to declare prophetic giftings in your life but hear this when the minister was uh, ministering when you were you were asking him questions he did mention something about gifts the giftings he says it is your gift that will pave a way for you it is not the degree that you have but the gift of God Tonight, any giftings in you that is dead by the power of the Holy Ghost, by the power of the Holy Spirit, let every giftings stand up in the name of Jesus. But hear this hear this when God sent Christ, when you read Romans chapter what, 6, verse 23, it says, For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God. It is a gift. So God used his gift to redeem and to restore the world. The gift of God. So your gift will promote you. Jesus. Your gift will take you to what? Places. My God. But one thing that I know, Paul the Apostle said, he says we should desire spiritual gifts that we may prophesy. So when the gift connects to the giftings of the Holy Spirit, then you can function. The reason why you don't have the ability, the intellectual thinking ability to, to, to exercise what God has given unto you because your gift is that. But the Bible says in Romans chapter 11 verse 29 For the giftings and the callings of God are without repentance. That means what God has given unto you no one, no one can take it. No one. You still have it. You have it in you. Because no one can take it. And the definition of gift, I realize it says it is something Jesus. that is given to someone without payment. So that means you didn't pay for it. It was given to you when you came. Everyone has a gift. So tonight, Jesus, I prophesy into your life into the year that we are about to enter that may God restore unto you Jesus any gift that yes. is dead in you yes, Lord. any gift that are, the enemy has suppressed Jesus my God, my God, my 
Makati Mikanda Tabasi Kapante Yarosh. That is why I know people that are degree holders. But yet they are doing side jobs. Why? The side job is what is giving them the money. Why? That is your gift. Father, in the name of Jesus. By your power, through Yeshua Hamashiach, your name is Tetragrammaton. The I am is your name. I, I invoke your power and your presence. Anyone that is watching us through your son, Yeshua, my God. Father, any gift in them that is dead, may he come to life. Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Yes. May the gift things yes. add up like yes. never before. Yes, Lord. Let go stay every gift things in you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh Lord. Father, any dead cell. Oh, yes, Lord. Any dead cell in you. Mm. By the power of the Holy Ghost. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Let there be life. In the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Arise. Arise and shine. Because the hour has come. And this is your hour. In the name of Jesus Christ. I thank you, Abba Father. For prayer answered, O oh Lord. I thank you, Abba Father. For doing it for your children, O oh Lord. Yes, Lord. I thank you, Abba Father, for restoration, O oh Lord. I thank you, Abba Father. God bless you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Jesus. Yes, sir. Jesus Christ. Yes, Lord. Amen. Yes, Lord. God bless you, my uh, Bishop Joe. God bless you so much, Bishop Joe. God bless you so much, Bishop Joe. He is the Bishop of our end time. Listen. What, what, what is about to happen in UK and the world through this man? Ah. For I has not seen, has not heard. My goodness, he carries power when he speaks. He can hear power. My brother, Apostle Emmanuel, please release some word to the audience right now. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Somebody begin to type gift, gift, gift. I'm still on the gift, man of God. What you said is profound. You know, when Joseph was in the prison, it was his gift that brought him out of the prison. Not the anointing. Not the anointing. You see, it's, it's one thing knowing your gift and another thing exercising your gift. Good. When he was in the prison, he told the back ladder, when you go, I interpret dreams. Don't forget me. It took someone to announce Joseph to interpret his dreams as a gift from God. Tonight, start begin begin to type gift, gift, gift. It's one thing knowing that you have a gift, and it's another thing knowing that you don't have a gift. Type gift, any gift in that God has purpose in your life. Uh, tonight, it will begin to manifest in the mighty name of Jesus. The moment it begins to manifest, uh, you will locate your destiny helper in the mighty name of Jesus. Tonight is a gifting night. Uh, whatever gift is in you, uh, it's beginning to rise tonight. Uh, in the mighty name of Jesus, there yes, is somebody Lord. on the line. There is somebody on the line. Your gift is going to open door for you. What yes. you are doing now is not where you are supposed to be. Your gift is going to take you out of that prison. It is not a prison war. That is only a prison. Your mindset can even become a prison to you. Tonight, whatever prison you are in, by the ocean of the Holy Spirit, I provoke that Holy Spirit and I invoke you and uproot you from that prison in the mighty name of Jesus by the giftings God has given unto you. Tonight, I'm not going to speak much, but someone has a testimony because of your gift in the mighty name of Jesus. Prophet Timmy, over to you, Prophet. Jesus, I see the angels of the Lord have located and they have taken their place. 
I see them in the center of God of war and an army in the lives of people. When you read the book of Romans chapter 12 verse 1, the book of Romans chapter 12 verse 1, I read, it says, Therefore I urge you, brothers and sisters, in view of God's mercies, to offer your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to God. That is your true and proper worship. We have done something here that is significant. Something of God. Yes, Lord. Do you know what worship is? Some people don't understand what worship is. But the Bible said in the book of Genesis that it came into the life of Abraham that when God told him to go and then give his son Isaac, the Bible said that and that when they were journeying of God on the mountain of Moriah, the Bible said that he told his, the, the, the people that was working with him to stay, oh God, there by him and his, oh God, son. They are moving on to the mountain to worship. That means that worship is sacrifice. This is what Christ did in the mighty name of Jesus. The Bible said that, and then God came and manifested in a body called Jesus Christ, Emmanuel, which means that God with us. And then the Bible said that God, yes, Lord, worship in the mountain of Calvary. What God did, what Christ did on the, on the cross of Calvary was a mere worship. So today, as you have given up your time, as you have given up your soul, as you have given up your body, I decree, I declare in the mighty name of Jesus and in the sound of my voice, oh God, that whatever thing, oh God, that oh God is holding up in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, oh God, whatever thing that you are believing God for in your life, I pray for a release. Do you know why? Do you know why? Because when we worship, there's an opening heavens. The Bible says our our worship of God is like a, it's like an incense that goes into heaven. Into heaven, it's like an incense, and when it goes into heaven, the Bible says it come back as fire. So I pray by the power of the Holy Spirit in the mighty name of Jesus that as you are as you have worshiped with us, O oh God, tonight, O oh God, I pray that Lord let there be fire that will activate gifts. Let there be fire that will bring purpose. Let there be fire that will heal bodies. I see in the realms of the spirit. There is a name that is watching. It is I, I see in the realms of the spirit. A name like Kumolo. Kumolo like Pamna in heaven. What is it? Komla. Yeah, I see like Komla. And then that Komla, you are in the Volta region. Specifically. God is giving you a ministry in the Volta region. A ministry, a great ministry in the Volta region that is going to happen in the mighty name of Jesus. You are trusting God and you're asking God whether you should even, oh God, dive in full time ministry. See, yeah, the spirit of the Lord as the worship was going forth, oh God. I see, oh God, Badam Ban Deberi and Taraba. Church is being, oh God, built in your name. And I see a guy, oh God, in a tech watching right now. In a tech watching right now. You are following a group of people like they are frosted. They are going to introduce you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of oh God into Sikedro, into many rituals. But see the spirit of the Lord, do not follow them because I see you being carried from a and then God will take you to a place called America. And in America, you go to a place called Texas. And in Texas, the, the, the spirit of the Lord is ministering to me right now. That you know what? That, that, that person of oh God, you have this the, the zeal to build houses, but oh God, as you sleep and I see you dreaming that you are building homes, oh God, but you do not know where the money is coming from. Don't follow those boys, follow the voice of God upon your life in the mighty name of Jesus. And say the spirit of the Lord. I saw a name like a name like Chris Chris, Chris Chris, Chris Chris, Chris Chris, Chris Chris, you are in business right now, but say the spirit of the Lord, you are not going to stay in business forever, you are going to have a ministry, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. A ministry in the mighty name of Jesus that you will pour on your yes. people yes, and do that ministry of God. At that businesses of God will be established. You will be a man of God in future in the mighty name of Jesus. I see the healing of God upon somebody's life in the mighty name of Jesus. The mighty name of Jesus. That person, you are suffering from the eyes. You want money for surgery, but you are you have searched north, south, east, and west, but the money is not coming. And then you're asking God, God, I've served you for so much, for so many times. Do you want me to go blind? As the worship was going forth, I saw the hand of God touching your eyes right now. And then the hand of God is bringing you healing. It's bringing you healing. It's bringing you healing. Jesus. You will not go blind in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you, Prophet Timmy. God bless you. Tonight, 
I still want you to do me a favor. Like, like the page, like the page, like the page, like it, like it, like it, like the page. Before we round up this, like the page, like the page, please. Before the man of God continues, like it, comment, and share it. God bless you so much, man of God. God bless you. God, you are. The final word, final word in our lives. And God, your word is settled, is settled forever. You're infinite, you're the ultimate. We trust you, we trust you, you're infinite, you're the ultimate, we trust you, we trust you, you are God. Tell him you trust him. We trust now, just you. all I want you to just type, Lord, I trust you. You are God. You never change. You never change. You are the God of Abraham, Jacob, and Isaac. The same God. He's still the same God. He has never changed. He's still the same God. Say we trust you. We trust you. You are God. You never change. You never change. We trust you, Lord. We trust you. We trust you. You're infinite. You're infinite. You're the ultimate. We trust you. We trust you. That's what I just want to give to somebody. That's the word for you. Just trust him. Have faith in him. His word is enough. He understood the power of word and he spoke the word to existence. This word is final in my life. We trust you. God bless you so much. God bless you so much, man of God. Tonight has been awesome. Please, if we want to find you, if we want to hear music, where can we find you and what is the name that we should search for? Uh, man of God, please, if you can just help us out here. Well, uh, I'm on YouTube, Diabello mm. Official. Mm. Mm. On Instagram, Diabello Official as well. Um, on Facebook, Diabello. <laughs> and you can send me a message on info at diabello.com. Info at diabello.com. And um, yeah, let's praise God together. In your miracle name. is on the other side of your worship. Amen. We go through it together. Amen. God bless you. Ladies and gentlemen, wherever you're watching us from, I just want to thank you so much for oh, staying so, with us. Sorry, please. Um, just want to appreciate my little sister that came with me. Oh, God She's bless a you. Worshiper, an she, her, her voice, yes. her voice is, is amazing. God bless you. God bless you, man of God. Ladies and gentlemen, this is what I want to leave you with. There is a lot going on in this world. There is so much going on. COVID is coming back. But the Lord is our protector. Yesterday, my brothers bear witness that we were dealing with uh, a meat, a dead animal. And whilst carrying it, the blood that fell on the ground was so strong and pure. It was, it was when you see it, you can tell that there is something about this thing called blood. And I wasn't comfortable so I had to clean it and make sure that it was gone why did I do that or why am I saying this even the blood of an animal when sacrificed can do something the blood of a human being does it does sorry it does wonders it does great things 
but the blood of Jesus supersedes every other blood when the angel of death went through Egypt the Bible says they used the blood of a lamb to mark their tents and the angel of death could not penetrate by you and I we have the blood of Jesus and I want to plead the blood of Jesus over your life right now wherever you're watching me from may the blood of Jesus mark you in this era of COVID as you go out and as you come in not you alone I plead the blood of Jesus over your life I plead the blood of Jesus over your family I plead the blood of Jesus over your loved ones the blood that speaks louder than the blood of Abel that blood I plead it over your life in the mighty name of Jesus even in this pandemic even in the midst of this pandemic may you be protected in the mighty name of Jesus may death stay far away from you in the mighty name of Jesus may you finish this year well in the mighty name of Jesus Christ you are protected by the blood receive this living sacrifice oh I am your worship Jesus I accept this living sacrifice Lord we are, we are your living sacrifice oh Lord in the mighty name of Jesus I pray that the Lord will watch over you tonight as you go to bed as you go to bed may the angels of the Lord appear to you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ next week will be our final um, 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 worship moment of worship for the year and I will be leading you in worship I've stepped down for a long time and next week I'll be here my sister Adrasa will be here in the studio, my brothers will be here next week we're going to declare certain things in the realms of the spirit I want you to tell a friend, to tell a friend, to tell a friend to tell another friend that next week we are coming with some, some serious fire we are praying as brothers here we are praying for you if you have any, any prayer request, you can drop it just just let us have it and i know my brother as you were prophesying about the the sickness there is someone you are in so much pain in your lower abdomen in your lower abdomen you are in so much pain you are in so much pain and 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 it's causing you headache like you don't know what to do you've tried every medicine but the lord is touching you right now the lord is touching you right now in the mighty name of jesus christ you are healed you are healed right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ wherever you're watching us from may the Lord touch you and next week we'll be coming your way same time 6pm moment of worship God bless you and we'll see you God bless you God bless you man of God God bless you sir God bless you God bless you see you next week Worship you, my God.